And there was a drama at a church in Kitui when police interrupted a church service come fundraiser and ordered the congregants out of the violating the COVID-19 health protocols on social distancing. Kitui Senator Eno Kwambua, who was attending the event, accused the officers of being insensitive. Jacqueline Wambiru with the details. Barely 48 hours after President Uhuru Kenyatta spelled out stringent new measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 within religious institutions, <laughs> this was the situation at no Anglican church in no ward Kitoi County. <laughs> Hundreds gathered for a church service come fundraiser. There was singing and dancing in defiance of the health protocols that required members to observe a one meter social distance and wear masks. The service, which was held outdoors, would, however, end abruptly when officers led by new OCS got wind of the event and stormed the service, ordering the congregation out. <laughs> Attempts by Senator Eno Kwambua, who was among those attending the service to allow for the fundraiser to continue, fell on deaf ears as the officers stood their ground. The congregates would be forced to leave. <laughs> Mambo accused the officers of being insensitive and being overzealous in implementing the directive by President Uhuru Kenyatta. He called for a respective places of worship. The service will be conducted for two hours. That people will keep social distancing, people will wear their masks. And in fact, in compliance with that agreement, uh, the congregants moved from the church building and, and they were doing the service in open air. Reporting for Channel One News, I'm Jackie Wamiru. And the country is currently witnessing a third wave of COVID-19 a year since it reported its first case. And this is the decision or it is the case that made the head of state president Uhuru Kenyatta to impose tough measures. And of course, tonight we speak with the World Health Organization representative here in Kenya, Dr. Rudy Eggers, to unpack all this. Are there some of the things that the countries and nations are doing the wrong way? And we have maybe a prediction on when this can come to an end. There have also been concerns about the administration of the AstraZeneca vaccine. Let's uh, keep the conversation going at Purity and Ascomusel and at KBC Channel One News. Use the hashtag Family Matters KBC. I'll be going through your feedback during this broadcast. Of course, your questions are also welcome.